What's up guys, Aquarium Conversations back here again with another video. It's been a long time since I've talked about this tank. This is the 65 gallon tank that I want to say I got last spring. And it's gone through a bunch of different changes to be honest with you guys. Let me start off, this is uh, this is the biggest tank I have. It's, uh, it's 3 feet um, by 30 inches and 18 inches deep. I've got in here, uh, as far as filtration, I've got a Cascade uh, 300 filter hanging on the back. I've got an Aquanite uh, 450, and I'm running a sponge filter. I've got a, a 300 watt heater back there as well. Man, when I first set this tank up, it was planted. It had Congo Tetras in there. I think there was a blue Acara, an electric blue Acara, something like that. The substrate was uh, fluval stratum, uh, and then on top of that was pool filter sand. And and this tank has been nothing but a learning experience for me. Whether it's you know keeping you know these kinds of fish, you know this is probably my you know most the tank that I have the most cichlids in. These are South American cichlids. I've got. There's a Jack Dempsey right there. I'll see if I can focus in on him. There's a Jack Dempsey right there. I've got a fire mouth down there. You can see his head. Hopefully he'll poke himself out of here. And I've got a pair of Crebenzis that like they hide around in these walks in there. Man, when I had the plants in here, the the fire mouth dug up the sand and the and the, the 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 substrate, a lot of the plants never really took hold of anything. The Congo Tetras, uh, it always seemed out of place in this tank. What else? Oh wait, there's the there here comes the, the fire mouth. There he is. You can see that. And you know, honestly, one day, oh I oh I oh I know. I had that big piece of uh, driftwood in here. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and overlay some pictures or, or some video just so you can gotta get an idea of what it used to look like. Uh, the Dragonstone, I've kept that in here. This piece of decoration, uh, I got a PetSmart, and I had that in my 40 breeder. And literally one day I just kind of got sick of all that. The piece of driftwood... The sand, the substrate, the plants. And I took everything out. Took everything out, and I really wanted to focus on the fish in this tank. Also, I have some fish in here that, you know, might get rather large, might even get too big for this tank. You know, I'll dress that, you know, down the road. I know this Jack Dempsey, he could get up to about, be about 10 inches. So, you know, we'll, we'll play that by the year. There's... One of my little Crebenzis right there. I think that's the female. There's the male coming out too, just as I speak. But this is a tank where I, you know, I pulled out all the plants. I wanted to focus on the fish. I wanted to uh, have enough room, have the right setup so these fish could be healthy. The plants were not helping. I had Amazon swords in here and crypts. And the, I think with the amount of food that I was feeding these fish to, to give them some size, I had algae issues. So seriously, I scrapped it. I, I took out the sand and substrate. That is black, run-of-the-mill aquarium gravel. I kept the rocks because I like that. I uh, have the same light on here. But to be honest with you, this this is, is simple and maybe not, you know, one of my most elaborate designs but I absolutely love it I love this 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 simple um, scape the fish are doing amazing everyone is healthy the angels have really um, helped I guess kind of calm down the aggression in the tank the fire mouth was you know a bully I had in a car I had to take him out and rehome him but the Akara and the Jack Dempsey get along fine Everyone kind of has their own little corner of the tank. The angels, they like to hang up top here. They kind of act as a dither fish. Um, the fire mouth, he's never been as active as he, as he is now. 
The Jack Dempsey's doing fine. He kind of likes to hover around the tank. The Crebenzis, just as they kind of come out, they hang out around the rocks. And there's a Pleco in here somewhere, which if you guys have ever kept a Pleco, you know you're not going to ever see them. But the, the simplicity of this design, I believe, is working well. Uh, maintenance is a lot easier now, especially not having the plants and the substrates and the, you know, just the kind of aging debris. Uh, plus, I got to have enough filtration in here to, to take care of all the, the, the different fish. So I'm, I'm so happy with this. So happy with this. Um, I mean, I hate to say it, it makes me want to get a bigger tank. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me go ahead and pump the brakes on that for right now. I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. But it does. It makes me want to get a bigger tank and, and really, you know, kind of do a spotlight or, you know, one of those uh fish only systems i still love don't get me wrong i still love live plants do not do not get me wrong this isn't uh one of those things where i'm done with live plants i i still love live plants so don't uh don't misunderstand that but this is just an update because this this tank has done a complete 180 since i initially set it up i love the way it's it's it was set up uh i, I you know the, the what i was trying to go for I love I love that whole thing, but you know, to keep a system and be able to maintain it, make sure everyone's healthy. Sometimes you got to make sacrifices. So the plants and the driftwood had to go, but the fish are as healthy as ever, and that's kind of that's kind of been my always been my main concern. So I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Any questions or comments below? Feel free to send them my way. And as always, talk to you guys down the road. Bye.